Hello everybody, welcome to Shruti's Kitchen. Today let's make a yummy and very easy to make soya manchurian. It can be done with simple sauces and simple ingredients. Generally we tend to make manchurian with uh, cauliflower or mixed vegetables but this is another variation. So if you are running out of vegetables you can make this manchurian and serve it to your guests or any family members. It tastes yummy. Just believe me. Let's start with the ingredients and then see how to make this soya manchurian. I'll start by boiling the soya chunks. I'll turn on the heat to high. Here I got two cups of water. I'm going to bring this to a boil and then boil the soya chunks. So the water has started to boil. We'll add in some salt in this and half cup of soya chunks. I'm using mini soya chunks. You can choose your own size here. You can use the normal soya chunks as well. It doesn't take much time to cook these soya chunks. It just takes a minute or so on medium flame. I cooked exactly for a minute. We'll turn off the heat. They look just perfect, nice and tender. We'll drain the water from the soya chunks and we are going to press it slightly to squeeze out any extra moisture. Make sure that you do it after they cool slightly. So we'll leave this for five minutes. So once they cool slightly, they'll be easy to handle. I'm going to squeeze out all the moisture from the soy chunks like that and keep the soy chunks aside. I'm going to make a very small batch today because I'm planning to make another snack as well. Squeeze out all the moisture and keep it aside. We'll transfer these soy chunks into a bigger bowl. We'll add in two tablespoons of all-purpose flour, two tablespoons of rice flour and two tablespoons of cornstarch. Quarter teaspoon of salt, quarter teaspoon of black pepper powder, you can add it to your taste. Half teaspoon of Kashmiri chili powder, if you have red chili paste, you can add that. I'm using this because I have this handy. We'll combine all the dry ingredients with the soy chunks. We'll add some water, very little water. I need some more. I'm going to mix all these ingredients nicely. So look at them. They're nicely coated with the batter. This is exactly how I want it. Now let's start deep frying them. I have already put the oil for deep frying. It's nice and hot. It's going on medium heat. We'll add the soy chunks. I'm going to fry them for 5 minutes or until they become nice and crispy. Look at them. They are nice and colorful because of the Kashmiri chili powder that I used. If you want, you can even taste them immediately after they come out from the fryer. They taste yummy. Perfect. They look nice and golden. I'm going to get them out. They're nice and crispy. Can you hear the sound? We'll transfer onto the paper towel to soak any extra oil. Now we'll make the sauce, we'll turn on the heat to medium and I have a medium sized pan here. We'll go ahead and add in 2 teaspoons of oil, 1 teaspoon of ginger finely chopped, 1 teaspoon of garlic finely chopped, 3 green chilies. you can add it to your taste. We'll fry for a few seconds. We'll go ahead and add in 2 tablespoons of tomato ketchup. 2 teaspoons of soy sauce, quarter cup of water, 2 tablespoons of spring onion greens. We'll also add in some lemon juice. You can add in some vinegar, like a teaspoon of vinegar, but I like to add lemon juice instead of vinegar. I need just a touch of salt here. We'll now add in the soya chunks that we have fried, they are nice and crispy. And 
toss them. They become nice and tender. After tossing in the sauce, they become very, very tasty. Finally, some more spring onion greens on top for garnish. And this is all ready. Look at them. The soy chunks have become nice and moist. This is looking lovely. Look at that. I just can't wait to try this. This is looking very, very yummy, isn't it? Let me try this. It's amazing. You have to try it. The pepper powder and the lemon, ginger, garlic, all these together with the texture of soya chunks. It's just amazing. You have to try it the same way I've shown you. You will love it for sure. So for more such yummy recipes, get subscribed to my channel, Sruti's Kitchen. I'll be back soon with another great recipe for you all. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.